Hello my dear doctor, I'd like to discuss a very important topic that is the myotonic dystrophy. Myotonic dystrophy also called the dystrophia myotonica is an inherited myopathy with features developing at around 20 to 30 years old. It affects the skeletal, cardiac and smooth muscles. There are two main types of the myotonic dystrophy like the DM1 and DM2. Genetics, autosomal dominant and high nucleotide expansion disorder that we call the traps. So, AD and DM1 is caused by CTG repairs at the end of the DMPK protein kinase gene on chromosome number 19 and DM2 is caused by repeat expansion of the ZNF9, circle ZNF9 on chromosome number 3. The key differences are listed in uh, table below, alright, so DM1, that is DMPK xenon chromosome 19 and DM2, that is ZNF9 xenon chromosome number 3. DM1 is the distal weakness of the more prominent, in contrast DM2 is the proximal weakness more prominent. And severe cognitive form, congenital form not seen in DM2. But the features of DM1, right, the general features of the myotonic fascia is the long haggard appearances, frontal belding, bite, uh, bilateral ptosis, cataracts and dysarthria. Other features are myotonia, tonic spasm of the muscle and weakness of the arms and leg distal initially and mild mental impairment, diabetes mellitus, testicular atrophy and cardiac info involvement that is heart block and cardiomyopathy and dysphagia. What is that my dear? I'd like to discuss a little bit more so that we can talk about the dystrophia myotonica. So yes, the SS box of the dystrophia myotonica will be really helpful. SS box. As you're writing the dystrophia myotonica, so we need to give the evidences of dystrophia, so that would be really helpful. What is that? Let's do it. I said the dystrophia myotonica is a rule of, yes, once again the D is, the rule of D's, and also the myotonica, the evidences of myotonica will give you the answer. So, DM equal to DM, yes. So, the rule of D is start with that. D for dominant, my dear, just write it down. D for dominant means autosomal dominant. Just write it down. And it said trinuclear repeat expansion disorders, once again, us. And what category of trinuclear repeat expansion is CDGs, that's really needed. All right. And this, you see, this is DMPK xenon chromosome number type 1, so chromosome number 19, so we need to know about it. So this is all about the genetics, all right, so write it down the way I'm writing, so D stands for the dominant traps, disease and CDG and also that autosomal dominant CDGs and D for DMPK on chromosome number 19. Next D is really important, stands on the distal muscles is more prominent than that of the proximal. So distal muscles groups are initially affected than that of the proximal group of muscles, all right. So these are muscles, all right. Next D is tensor, right. I talk, right, that the dystrophia myotonica, so dystrophic, if I say that dystrophic means disturbances in trophia, in the nutrition. So I said the dystrophic phases, that will be helpful. So dystrophic phase, what does it mean? All right, does it mean, we were saying that, dystrophic phase means, yes. So 
frontotemporal balding, bilateral tosis, then up, or I see the bilateral cataracts. So once again, frontotemporal balding, bilateral tosis, bilateral cataracts, and long haggard face, and facial muscles having some dystrophy and weakness as well, and a bit of tone. So long haggard face, the dystrophic face. So dystrophic face, what is that? I am saying dystrophic face is a bundle pack of frontotemporal, frontotemporal balding. Just writing down the way I am writing, right? Frontal balding and bilateral tosis, bilateral cataracts. Bilateral tosis, bilateral cataracts, and long haggard face. All right, front of the long, long face. All right, that's enough to remember the faces. What does it really mean? This trophic face. So these three bundle pack of D's are really important to write. To know the, all the features, the genetics, and the which muscle groups are affected. And then, yes, the three. And three extra. We call the three extra neuromuscular effects or muscle effects, dystrophia, myotonica, muscle effects. The other three Ds, all right, start D4. Yes, you need to remember D4, DM, and next D4, DCM, all right, once again. So, yes, next for D4, we can write the d -zum. all right. So, say with me, D for DM, DCM, d -zum. all right. So, DM, 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 all right. DM for diabetes mellitus. DCM for dilated cardiomyopathy. And d -zum means, yes, hypogonadism. The way I'm writing, the D is a bigger one, M is a small, bigger one, other small. So please follow it, it will be helpful. So hypogonadism means the testicular atrophy. So these are the features. So this first bundle pack and second bundle pack of D's that we need to remember. Along with that, we have to give the evidences of M for myotonia. The word itself says that the evidence of myotonia means muscle tone, all right, spasmic or tonic muscle tone, tonic spasm of the muscles, tonic, muscle tonic. So we can re write it down, the muscle tonic means tonic spasm of the muscles, all right. We can write myotonia, tonic spasm of the muscles. So that can be seen in a different categories of the features, right? So the one of the important, two important myotonia that just write it down, the percussion myotonia. Another one is the grieve myotonia. So these two important words of the percussion, the grieve myotonia. So evidences of myotonia and evidences of D, if I say it, dystrophia. So this is the M evidence and this is the D evidence. So DM is the dystrophia myotonica is done. And a little bit box, all right, a small box will be helpful of DM type 1 and type 2. Type 1, you see the DMPK, xenon chromosome number 1 stands on, yes, 19. And 2 is Z and F9 on chromosome number 3. 
this chromosome number also coming in your exam. This is D definitely distal muscles, just write it down, but type 2 is a proximal muscles is initially affected. A bit of more discussions will be helpful. Whenever we get a chance, we are discussing this one. Already we talked about the neurofibromatosis. Can you remember type 1 and type 2? One, we have seen that the seven important features. So, 1, 7 and 2 for 22. So, the chromosome number. Once again, we talk about the tuberous sclerosis type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is a hamartine, N for 9 and 2 for 4. And last, same that AD PKD, we have the 1 and 2, 1 for 16 and 2 into 2 equal to 4. So, these compare boxes will be helpful to remember all the common numbers and it is also very important in your exam idea. So, I like to say once again, 1, 1, yes, 2, you see the Z like a 2, it will be helpful and 2, after 2, there is a 3, 1 stands for the 1 and we have seen the 7 features, so 17 and 2 means 22, alright. And tuberous sclerosis, 1 means hamartin, hamartin, remember the hamartin, tin and 4, 9. We already discussed, all right. And two into two equal to four. T was two, all right. So eighty PKD years once again one and one is sixteen. One for one sixteen. And two into two equal to four. And very close to this one, this is four. T was sclerosis and eighty PKD. And this one is the DM and neurofibromatosis. So, the last discussion I'd like to do is the dystrophia myotonica, my dear. Once again, the dystrophia myotonica is nothing but the D, M. We have to prove the D, we have to prove the M, so we can be able to make our diagnosis. The D, M is present here. Five star topic, my dear. Yes. Dystrophia myotonic, you see the D4, the first bundle pack of 3D is D4 dominant, D4 distal, D4 dystrophic phase. So, this bundle pack, once again, D4, 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 I say the D4 DM, D4 DM, dystrophia myotonic, D4 DM, all right. This bundle pack and this bundle pack, all right. So, first is the dominant distal and D for dystrophic, yes, face. Dominant distal dystrophic and last DM, DM, DM. All right, second, all right, second bundle pack to be helpful, my dear. So, the first and the second bundle pack, that will be helpful. So, the first is the genetics. This is nothing but the genetics, my dear. We talk about the autism one, dominant, D for dominant, D for traps and D for DM, PK. On comes the number 19. D for distal group is affected more than the, the proximal muscles and dystrophic phase is the frontotemporal balding, phase is the frontotemporal balding, then bilateral tosses and bilateral cataracts and then long haggard phase, this bundle pack is the dystrophic phases. DM dilated, DM is the diabetes mellitus, DCM, DM, all right, dilated cardiomyopathy and DISO is the hypogonadism means the testicular atrophy that we can. So, myotonia, the evidence is, yes, myotonia is a percussion myotonia and grip myotonia. Percussion myotonia, we percuss onto the base of the thumb, normally there is no contraction. But if you give a stroke onto the base of the thumb, the thumb will be flexed, thumb will be flexed. That is called the percussion myotonia. That will be seen in clinical part. There will be no more and more better how to do that. And grip myotonia, you do the handshake, all right, and then release them, but this difficulty to release. Contraction is very good, but difficult to relax means the myotonia. So myotonia is nothing but 
myotonia because the tonic spasm so reduced relaxation or difficulty to relax. Contraction is good but the relaxation is having problem. So the first box is once again the summary talk that I'll talk and second box is you, you see the all the close number all together. So dystrophia myotonica, evidences of dystrophia and plastic myotonia, giving the DM, dystrophia myotonica, dystrophia first bundle back, D for dominant, D for distal, D for once again dystrophic facets. Hard bundle back, DM, 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 alright, yes, DM for Davis myotonia, D for DCM, dilated cardiomyopathy, and last D for DSM means hypogonadism, gonadism, hypogonadism, testicular atrophy. So these bundle pack and these bundle pack and last the myotonia is a grip myotonia and percussion myotonia in the same hands, all right? Along with the chromosome number you see the 1, 19, 2, 3, 1, 19, 2, 3. Neurofibromatosis is 1, 17, 2, 22, all right? Tuber sclerosis is 1, hamartin 9, 2 into 2 equal to 4 because of ADPKD 2, 4, 1, 16. That would be helpful, my dear. I hope that total discussion of dystrophia myotonica, it will be helpful. Thank you. Thank you very much.